Professor Project team, Brent Fikowski here. Uh, late video and unfortunate timing because this week, as I'm sure you've already noticed, the programming has changed. The weekly schedule of the programming has changed pretty dramatically. And I wanted to do this video sooner, um, but there have been fires in Kelowna. We're fine, we're totally fine, but we were kind of on evacuation alert. So we've been bouncing around um, now here in Alberta with family. It's just been a crazy few days, but we're fine. And I wanted to do this video now. So finally, we're here. Um, let's dive into it. So mostly the past few weeks and years and months, of my training and your training, it's been Thursday and Sunday, full rest days, big days, the other five days. So something that um, I'd done some research on and had been contemplating was just having one rest day a week and then having some of those days just being like slightly lower intensity. I knew I didn't want to go back to a just Sunday rest day and like six straight days of training. Did some reading and uh, earlier in the year and there was a window in earlier in this year where I did three week training and a rest day. Um, I believe it was after quarters and I really liked the training that uh, my coach and I figured out and I didn't put it exactly as I had it from a, like the days I'm doing the rest days, the days I'm doing the work, but I kept mostly the same amount of work um, for you guys, but I kept the Thursday and Sundays a rest day because I wasn't sure if I was going to stick with it. wasn't sure if I was going to like it and I didn't want to just upheave your schedule um, without knowing that it was going to be something that we stuck with. And so that week, those three weeks of training were really good three weeks of training. I really enjoyed that setup and I've been kind of humming and hawing over bringing it back and um, thinking internally, talking to Kyle from the Professor Project, talking to my coach. That's going to be how I'm going to do training here for the next couple of months. And what it looks like is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday looks pretty similar to uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday's a full rest day. So Monday morning and Thursday morning are big leg strength days, leg strength session. That afternoon, Monday and Thursday afternoons, big CrossFit day. So that's the biggest day of the week. That's kind of the, the heavy hitter day. Um, tough sessions, should be pretty tired by the end of that. Longest amount of time spent in the gym of the week. And um, that's what I wanted to have was these really big kind of outlier days. And then it kind of gets a little less intense the next day and then even less intense the next day and then you're kind of either rated a rest day or you're um you're back at it on thursday so monday thursday morning legs monday thursday afternoon crossfit hit it hard mostly legs but definitely upper body kipping all that stuff tuesday morning friday morning um lay uh, upper body upper body strength to focus mostly on like, you know, gymnastic strength, right? So that's the the pulling and the pressing with the arms. Afternoons on Tuesdays and Fridays, um, mostly conditioning, mostly on machines. That might change a little bit here as we kind of evolve and figure things out, but more or less that's the plan. And then the next day is a much easier day and much less time training, much less time spent in the gym than uh, the other, the other, days of the week. So Wednesday morning and Saturday morning, just a run. Wednesday afternoon, Saturday afternoon, either swim or like just gymnastics skill session. Uh, just time to really work on you name it. So for me, when during that through those three weeks, it was like I would just have some skills written down, I'd have some progressions, I'd go on YouTube, I'd find some skills to learn, you know, backwards pullovers or backwards roll to support or freestanding handstand push ups or handstand pirouettes or um, backflips if I was at the gymnastics center. And so the idea here was wanting to get a good gymnastic skill session that wasn't, that the session didn't start with strength work because I've found in the past that when I work on skills and I've already done strength work in that same session, the skills don't progress as fast as you could understand, you know, your body's tired and so on. Um, and then wanted to have the two big leg days, especially a leg day right after the rest day, super important, hit it hard Monday morning. And that was kind of the, a lot of the basis for this style and, you know, feel like I can get in more total repetitions, more quality training each week while still not feeling burnt out by, uh, you know, on a week to week basis. And I like those three weeks of training and I've kind of been keeping it up my sleeve and I uh, wanted to bring it back into the fray once the games was over and then really try to get a long period of time where I'm trying that out myself and then letting the professor project in on that little secret as well. So Again, sorry that this video is late. Uh, it's been a little crazy here, but I'm excited to hear your feedback, especially if you're able to get through all of it. Um, we're going to keep 
myself, Kyle, Jesse, David, and we're going to kind of keep humming and hawing over how to distill that down for the essential training and make sure you're getting like the, the most important aspects of that on a weekly and bi-weekly basis. So you're still working on your skills, you're still getting your strong legs, you're still getting the conditioning in, you're still getting upper body strong. Um, but it's, you know, sort of split up in a way and it might look a little, quite a bit different than, uh, than how we're doing it, but a lot of the building blocks will still be in place. So I'm really excited for this. Um, I'm excited to get back into my own training here soon. Uh, still lots of bit of travel here, not lots, but a bit of travel to see family and, and wind down a bit after the games and do some work on my computer, hopefully here in the next few days. But I'm excited for this week. Please uh, let us know. Let me know. I want to know how you're liking this training, what you're thinking about this setup. Um, I know kind of dropped it on you, but it's kind of no other way to do it. Uh, <laughs> so um, I was hoping to have a little bit more of a dialogue, and uh, but because of the fires, everything just kind of got upended. So we're all fine here. No need to send the like, oh, what can I do to help? We're fine. Uh, but uh, it was a little crazy there for a few days. So that's it. Love you all. Thanks so much for the support after the CrossFit Games. And I'm looking forward to diving in with the Professor Project in the coming months and making things uh, bigger and badder for everyone and uh, the team that's been so supportive. And, you know, for me to reach my fitness goals this coming year and for all of you to do the same. Let's do it.